name is Kelly O'Dell and I'm originally from the Big Island of Hawaii and now I'm living in Stanwood, Washington. About to move to Lopez Island in the San Juan Islands. I was born on Lopez Island, which is a small island in the San Juan Islands. I grew up on and around the water a lot. I had a sailboat as a kid and that time growing up on the island definitely informs the work that I make today and, the, and I think a big reason that I work mostly with marine life as a subject matter is, is because of that upbringing. I just went to high school on Lopez Island. I got into glass there actually. There was an alternative high school program so my junior and senior year, I started working with a man by the name of Lark Dalton. He and his wife, Corey Height, have a glass studio on Lopez Island. In 2003, I was invited by Karen Willenbrink Johnson to start working with her full time and on William Morris's team. And so in 2003, I started doing that and my wife, Kelly, started working there at the same time. And that's when we met. Raven and I met at Hillchuck Glass School in 2003, we both showed up there at the same time to work together on the William Morris team. My first class there really shaped the rest of my, my career. Prior to that, I was blowing glass, but I was doing Venetian technique, making functional wear, and, and then once I met those guys and started working with them, that was when I started doing sculptural work and I felt like I could really express myself through the medium of glass. My dad used to blow glass when I was little. When we lived in Hawaii, he had his own glass studio there, and I would watch him and stuff. And then I went to the University of Hawaii as a math major, and right around the corner of the math building was uh, the art building, and I could smell the, the smells of the newspaper burning and the block, and I knew it was a glass shop, so I found it, and I joined in, and after a couple of years, they sent me to Pilchuck Glass School for the first time. My first class at Pilchuck Glass School, uh, I was a student in Randy Walker's class. Randy Walker is Bill Morris's right-hand man, and so I worked with Randy after that. I worked with Randy many times, returning to Pilchuck Glass School as a teaching assistant, um, and then working at the school on staff and things like this. And after a few years, uh, I was invited to join the team there. This incredible team of people um, is so talented and just so amazing. They're all uh, become my mentors. So this would be William Morris, Randy Walker, Karen Willenbrink Johnson, Jason Johnson, um, Ross Richmond, uh, Rick Allen, and she Shelley Allen. So everybody that worked on that team together, really, um, I look up to all of them. A lot of it is an eye of the beholder. I make objects that are often perceived as as beautiful and. And I think what the person that views it takes away from it could be different. But when I make the work, it's definitely, um, I'm thinking about the sustainability of, of our food sources and how we care for the ocean and the greater environment. That's a big part of, of what the work means to me. So I make each individual part and then tape it off and sandblast it, and then heat all the different components up again and put it all together. We collaborate now and then, um, but mostly we have our own separate interests. Sometimes those interests cross over, I think because our backgrounds might be seen as a little bit similar. We both come from islands um, and uh, we're both ocean inspired. 
Um, we're both concerned about animals and the environment and history uh, and preserving, conserving. Just in the last couple years, a uh, nonprofit started in the Seattle area, which is called SR3, and it's um, Sea Life Rescue, Rehabilitation, and Research. And so it's, um, it's a really cool nonprofit, and it's something that hasn't existed in the Washington Puget Sound area before. Um, so I'm really proud to sit on the board of, of that organization, and they're doing real hands on work with disentanglement of marine mammals and uh, also being prepared for oil spill response and just basically helping with the health of the marine environment. It's something I'm really excited about. So it definitely depends on the complexity of the piece. I, I make some smaller pieces. Nothing that I make, I make on my own. It always requires at least one other person. For a larger piece like the sea turtle I was talking about or, or some of the really massive pieces we've made, um, with several different components that are put together. Uh, it's, you, it can be upwards of 10 people on the floor at a time. One of the most challenging things about sculpture is being able to orchestrate all the things that are happening at once. And especially if you have a team of people and maximizing those uh, skills of each person. Um, to, to benefit the piece and to come together smoothly but safely. Um, I'd say that's it's challenging to do, but I'd say we've, we've had a pretty good run so far of that. And we've had some amazing people that we work with. Couldn't do it without our team. We live and work in a place that has a lot of talented people, so we um, are usually able to put a really good team together of talented people. Ren is very interested in making glass with us, and he has really uh, a clear idea of what he wants to make when he comes in the shop. So we ask him to make uh, sketches, make sure you have everything planned out, uh, so that we understand exactly what you want and we'll help you make this. And it's been really fun working with him. And yeah, I think as long as it works and for him and he's happy playing in the shop with us, it's, it's great, it's super fun. We were super overwhelmed in a good way by all the support we were shown for our um, for our studio build and um, it was a super successful campaign and so so we're really grateful to all the support. If you're interested in seeing my most recent work, uh, go to shansgallery.com and check it out. It's uh, some of the latest work that I've made and i um, really happy with the show that they put on there. So um, it looks great. So if you have the opportunity, check it out. <laughs>